First came the cicadas, and now Japanese beetles are wreaking havoc on yards and plants. They are crawling out of the ground throughout western Pennsylvania with the potential to cause extensive damage. John Shumway has been talking with some experts about how you can save your lawn and your plants. When the Japanese beetles arrive, you can't miss them. All on my plants, which I take care of daily, and it just seems like more and more have shown up over the last couple of weeks. Right on schedule, says entomologist Dr. Chad Gore. This is the time of year that we expect to see adults come out. But unlike cicadas, they are a perennial pest. Dr. Gore says some years are worse than others, and one of the first signs are the brown spots appearing in your yard. Those larvae will feed on the, the roots of, uh, of the, the grass in the lawn. And when they surface as adults, they are after plants. There's a lot of, of uh, ornamental plants, including roses, uh, that they like to eat. They've eaten a lot of my leaves on the plants. Uh, some choice words for those beetles. I'll tell you, they do do some destruction. This is their purpose in life. The plants are just a source of energy to get the next generation going. But in the process, they can uh, do some serious damage to the plant uh, up to killing it. Dr. Gore says if you do find beetles on your plants and you want to preserve the leaves, the first thing you need to do is get them off and literally just take your hand and pluck them off the tree. They're not going to bite you. Um, they're they uh, um, they're really only interested in the plants. Put them in a plastic bag, make sure you seal it tightly, and then you can just toss this in the trash. Japanese beetle traps are popular, but be careful. People buy them and then they put them in the middle of the plants that they're trying to protect. And it only draws more beetles to your plants. Instead, put them in the back of your yard, as Dan Nascasey did. We've noticed a decline in the population. There are also products you can spray on your plants to ward off the beetles and treatments that you can put on your lawn. You put this down late July through early October, generally a one-time treatment. And it will kill the new larvae, meaning... You're see. preventing them from coming back next year. And this time next year, you'll find out if it worked. John Shumway, KDKA News.